Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at the Kaiser Megatherium. This is a folding knife from Kaiser designed by Elijah Isham, and I want to go ahead and thank Kaiser for loaning me this for review. They sent me this and the uh, Tangram Vector, which I have a review posted of yesterday. You can go and take a look at that. Really, really compelling knife though. Um, let's go ahead and get into what I like about it, what I'm neutral towards, what I dislike. But first, before all that, we'll go ahead and do some size comparisons. All right, first up for size comparison, let's go ahead and grab one of those Tangram Vectors. These are much, much smaller knives. Um, you can see, even when closed, the size is very, very noticeable. And when open, it's, it's just vastly different. The um, Tanger Vectors are good small EDC knives. This one is enormous, so if you do not like that, this is not going to work for you. Here's the ZT0450CF for size comparison as well. Pivot to pivot there, you can see it is, again, absolutely dwarfed. Not too far off in terms of length, maybe an inch, but when it comes to width and things like that, it's, it's going to be much, much different. I do want a knife that is larger than this, though. And that is the <laughs> the PMP Beast. Um, this knife is longer, and it is much, much larger. Um, in terms of thickness, I'll go ahead and set this here for you. And you can see it's not all that thick of a knife, honestly. It's, it's fairly thin, which is nice, and it makes it fairly easy to carry around in the pocket. All right, let's go ahead and get into what I like about it. Alright, first thing up is the design. So the design is very, very nice. It looks, it's very angular, it's very um, motion heavy. There, there's a bunch of little details that I, I really, really appreciate. Um, this lines up perfectly, that, that's nice, it's just something. The um, unidirectional carbon fiber, if you look, it actually transitions into these lines here in this little flat section very very well lines up perfectly with that it's gorgeous um, there's a, a tiny bit of a gap here but overall the fit and finish is very very nice and they executed this design perfectly it's it's a really 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 nice and it has a, a bit of like a stone wash kind of finish here um, that kind of that's nice because it, it's not going to keep you from using this knife same thing with the blade so you know a little stone wash but it's not too heavy it's, it's really really nice when it's open, that lines up there. Uh, everything just fits so well together. It's it's impressive. It's very very impressive. Even the clip has these kind of angular lines to keep the design cohesive and consistent. And it's just they just knocked it out of the park with producing this knife and Elijah with designing this knife. It's great great job on that. Speaking of the clip, it's also pretty good. It's fairly small for this knife, honestly, and I really, really like it. It has a, a decent amount of ramp. That's probably my least favorite thing about it is the amount of ramp it has, but the spring's really, really nice. It has fairly good depth. It leaves, you know, an inconspicuous amount of the knife coming out of the pocket. It's not like you have, like, a huge chunk. Like, this this could look like it was a regular size knife, you know, in your pocket. So that's nice that they took that into consideration. The action on this is really, really good. So there's a couple ways to open this. Um, one of them is with the flipper tab, and it always, always fires. The The drop shut smoothness is assisted by the weight of the blade, but it does drop shut, and it's very, very nice. Um, the other way that I found to open this knife is just with the middle finger flick. You can open it reliably, and especially if you, depending on where you grip, you're gonna get kind of different, you know, different results. I generally prefer to grip farther or you know flip it farther down, but that's just me. Um, if you go up a little higher, you're gonna get a little bit more of a pop to it. But it's nice. But yeah, the action on this is just crazy. It's it's super super smooth. Um, deploys reliably 100% of the time. Even if you have kind of a a bad flip, it's it's gonna open up perfectly. Now the size and weight of this thing is a bit of a deterrent for a lot of people. <clears throat> To that effect, they have released a Kaiser Mini Therium, which I uh, may try to get for review if there's a lot of interest in that. Leave a comment. You know, if I get 15 comments asking for it, then I'll I'll grab one. But it's um 
the size is, is, is fairly large. If you have smaller hands, I, I don't think this is going to work for you. Now, for me, the, the ergonomics, because of the size, are like perfect. Like a little bit sticks out at the end there, but I can really, really choke up. And even using the finger choil, which is a really, really nice option they included, it's, it's really, really nice. But if you do choose to go back here, that blade, because of the way everything's designed, actually will hit you know whatever you're cutting. If you're cutting down onto a flat surface, you're going to be able to get that blade almost all the way down, which is a really, really nice touch. And if you come up here like this, it's going to get down to the the blade first every single time. It's 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 great. There's a lot of really good ways to to hold this knife to use it. It's it's comfortable on a ton of grips, just a ton of them. And because of that cutout, because this you know partial carbon fiber things like that, this is a very very light knife. Um, the mini Ethereum actually is entirely carbon fiber, I believe. I could be wrong on that, but it's at least you know carbon fiber scales. But it's it's nice as well, and this is indeed a kind of a bolster lock, maybe a, a half bolster lock frame lock thing. It's interesting, but the lock's very nice. The lock up is very nice. It you know comes up to about fifty percent, if that matters to you at all. Centering's damn near perfect as well. So it again, just fit and finish on this is great. The name of this is really good as well. So. This is the Kaiser Megatherium. Uh, Megatherium is a species of ground sloth, a prehistoric species of ground sloth, and sloths are the best animal, so this is really, really cool. And I, I could be wrong, but I believe it's modded, modeled after the ground sloth's claw, so that's 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 pretty cool. Um, so in addition to the Megatherium, they have released the Mini Ethereum, and according to Elijah's Instagram, I don't know how in the hell they're going to do this, but they're looking at producing a Gig Ethereum, which would be larger than this. And this is a, a pretty big knife as it is. Um, I would be interested to see that, see, you know, what apl applicable uses it has, if any at all, um, apart from being like a folding chef's knife. But, you know, I'm looking forward to that. <clears throat> The packaging for this is very, very nice. I did an unboxing of all these, but Kaiser's new packaging is pretty cool. I like it quite a bit. No real complaints there. And the last thing about this is the blade. So this is a big, big, big blade. It is a lot larger than the handle. You can see there, as far as like width, most of that width is coming from the blade. The blade is flat ground, but it's ground so high that it's it, it slices great. The stock is a little thick, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's 0.16. That's a, a little thick, it's not huge. But because of how it's ground, it, it just cuts so, so well. This knife is an absolute pleasure to use for long periods of time because of you know the materials, the ergonomics, and the way that blade's ground and everything. It's, it's just amazing. On to the neutral. So first thing up is the price, and this was... A bit of a um, issue with me on the tangrams as well. It's a little high. the The price on this is two thirty three. Now I don't think that's out of line, but I think, especially for you know the materials you're getting titanium carbon fiber S thirty five VN from a reputable company. It's 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 not a bad price. That's why this isn't the dislike. I will say there's a lot of competition around the two hundred and thirty dollar range, so. Um, I guess my point here is, is Kaiser, if they drop their price to 200 on this, now, granted, that's a, that's a pretty decent price cut, I think it'd be a lot more compelling, or, you know, because of marketing purposes, 199 Like, this knife would look great at 199 but 233 it's just kind of, mm, I don't know. <clears throat> but it's 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 interesting. It's large. It has a lot of material. Packaging is nice. Uh, Okay-ish warranty. Good company. Good designer. It's just that price is just a, a bit high when you're considering all the other stuff in the market right around this. And the other thing in the neutral is the printing. So the Kaiser logo, which is expected, and then it says <clears throat> S35VN and it has the model number. And on this side it has the Megatherium and the um, Elijah Isham logo. It's just boring. I, I kind of wish they had wrapped it around here or maybe put it on the spine of the blade like I see on some of his other stuff. But it's just not 
it's not great. It's just kind of bland. Now, granted, it is small, so it's not obtrusive or anything, which anything that's going to look small on this plate, if they had just billboarded Kaiser across it, it looked terrible and no one would buy it, but I think the way it is, it's a little bland, but it's it's there and it's it's okay. All right, onto the dislike. Two things here. <clears throat> pivot. This is Kaiser's, you know, whirly pivot thing. I'm not a big fan of it. It just, I mean, it looks okay. My wife loves the way it looks, but me, I'm not a huge fan of it. And I think with this design in particular, it looks so out of place on this. It just, it looks ridiculous. Again, that's just my opinion, but I think it looks so silly on this knife. But that's just personal preference. Now, this next thing is, is something that I genuinely dislike about this knife. And most of the time, I don't use the flipper tab for this reason. So the flipper tab itself is fine. It's chamfered, all that stuff. It's great. And it even slots your finger in there really well so you can flip it. But when you do flip it, you immediately come down on this, which are fairly thin titanium um, liners, scales. And it's just not great. It, depending on how you flip it, it's fine. I If I do use it, I usually use this first little finger junction thing and do it, which is which helps me a bit. But if you just flip it, especially if you try to light switch it, you're going to come down all over this. It's just not, it's not fun. There's no push button, push button opening method to this. So when you do flip it, just be kind of careful. But yet yeah, that just, it hurts my finger a lot. It doesn't hurt nearly as bad now as it used to. But the first couple times I flipped this, it was, it was a bit of a pain. All right. <clears throat> With all that in mind, let's go ahead and move on to the conclusion. All right. Under the conclusion. So this knife overall, I think, is a fantastic design. I think the materials are great. It's interesting. It's ridiculous. It's, it's cool. It's a really, really unique and cool design. It's eye-catching. You know, if you and your friends have some knives that you're, you're you know, your friend's like, oh, hey, I got this, this bench made. And your other friend's like, oh, I got the spider cut. You're like, oh, well, I got this Kaiser designed by Elijah Isham, and it looks like a freaking ground sloth claw. Like, it looks crazy. But in addition to looking just absolutely insane, it functions so well. This is, it's, it's a great blend of those two. It's a really, really, really unique blend. And it's over the top without being impractical. Now, I really like the PMP Beast. I think it's a very unique knife, but it's stupid. The blade stock's too thick. The action isn't great. It's just a lot of this stuff about it is just kind of meh. And it's it's a unique design as well, based off the solely the, like the size of the thing. But it's not as unique as this, and it's not as practical as this. And this is a little bit more expensive, but to be honest, it's it's a better knife. Like as as a as a tool from a tool point of view, this knife is better than that, and it shows. You you notice it when you're carrying it. It's pleasant. The only real thing I have to complain about as far as carrying it is the size is a little bit deterrent for some people. If you can get over the size, this is a fantastic knife. Strictly from a tool point of view, an aesthetic point of view, it's it's great and I really, really like this. I think the price is a little rough. There are a few things I'm not a huge fan of. But overall, the knife is great, and I think it'd be even more compelling if they ground off this flipper tab and just kind of made it like that. I think that looks better, but that's just me. But yeah, thank you to Kaiser for sending this to me for review. If you guys have any um, requests for me to review the Mini Ethereum, let me know, and I'm maybe able to pick one up. And hope you all have a good day. Thanks, guys. Bye.